The pandemic has forced thousands of Oklahomans who have lost their jobs to consider new careers. That takes training. And in the case of the hospitality industry, it's being provided by the Great Plains Technology Center in Lawton. Reporter Steve Shaw hits the road to show us how students are learning to order up a new way to make a living. Good, make sure that you're grilling them, that you rotate them. Lori Grant is a 1996 Stillwater High School graduate who's been teaching culinary arts at Lawton's Great Plains Technology Center for four years. What is beef cooked to? Uh, 100 and... Eight? No. No, no. 180, you want to burn it up? Grant takes her job very seriously because these are serious times. The pandemic caused staggering job losses nationwide. Ironically, the plague came at the same time. Great Plains poured four and a quarter million dollars into completely renovating their culinary arts program, which is now three times the size. We're operating out of the same facility that we had been for 49 years. And so it was time to renovate and time to really give this program the attention and the love that it deserves. A million dollar donation from the McMahon Foundation in Comanche County is a big reason. Great Plains has these new digs, which includes a large teaching kitchen classroom and even a bistro on the front end. It all officially opened January 11th. So before we had a table that was about this long that all the students stood around and that's where they learned. Now they have their individual, their own oven, their own stove top uh, where they can learn that space to spread out and learn by mistake and learn by doing. The pandemic cut enrollment numbers in half from 60 to 30 last year. But longtime Great Plains instructor Brian Cawthon says this new environment is already attracting more high schoolers and adults who either lost jobs or have family members who are jobless due to the pandemic. This industry, if you want to, you're willing to work and willing to learn, you can start at the bottom and work your way all the way up, which we think is, you know, not every industry does that. Cawthon attended Will Rogers High School in Tulsa and earned a degree in hotel and restaurant management from Oklahoma State in 1983. He owns three area subway restaurants, but his greatest satisfaction comes here when he sees the light turn on. It's awesome. Um, and that was one of the things I worked in the industry for years and years and years. One of the things I always enjoyed was getting somebody that hadn't worked and watching them kind of get that swagger, get that confidence and turning them loose, whether it was a server, whether it was a cook, and here that's what we do every day. He calls the new facilities a game changer. It's better than any restaurant I've ever worked in, for sure. I mean, space-wise, the way it's laid out, um, honestly, I think it's one of the best teaching facilities in the state. When they leave my program, they are ready to go to work um, in something better than a fast food restaurant. And I always like to say, Culinary arts is very unique because we are connected to a lot of these emerging careers that we see. There's a stereotype out there that kids who enroll in these kinds of programs don't have college plans. That's not necessarily the case. Karen Stringham is a Great Plains student who also attends Eisenhower High School in Lawton. And so it's really exciting to finally be in here and actually getting to work uh, in the production kitchen. When she completes the two-year program here, she may go to college, she may go to culinary school, or she may go to work in a restaurant. She'll make that choice. There are a lot of different areas in culinary. Not all of them um, are even cooking in the kitchen, although that is one of the main ones. And so it's just a really exciting path to go down. Lawton High School junior, Kai Figueroa. Ever since freshman year, I heard about this program. It's been my goal to get in it is another student here you can tell is on his way. I want to go to college after this. I want to go to Cordon Bleu in Las Vegas. And do what? And uh, study under them for, for a couple years. And uh, if I do good in that class, I can uh, go straight to a shoe chef. That right there is clearly a cold spot because that one hasn't cooked very much at all. If you've got a passion for food and, and there's so much going on with the food industry right now, whether it's fo photographing food, blogging about food, uh, all those kind of things. So it's kind of opened a bunch of different doors 
uh, sports nutrition is huge right now, you know, and if I was a younger person, that's the one I would go to because I love sports, loved athletics. Every professional team's got their own chef working with them. Some of the NBA guys have their own chef that cooks for them all the time. So sports nutrition is huge. In Lawton, Steve Shaw, the Oklahoma News Report. Steve, thank you. The school's two-year culinary program is free for high school students. Adults can enroll in a one-year program that does include tuition, but federal financial aid and scholarship money is available.